Hi everybody, this is Jamie from Jamie's Hooked. Get a little bit of view here. Here we go. Alright. Um, today is November 12th, which is actually my daughter's 19th birthday. She is away at college right now. Um, I probably have to say this is probably the first birthday of hers that she's just not here. Um, yeah, it's really, really kind of an emotional thing to think about, you know, like, my baby's not here. She, I've, I've been there for every birthday. She's not here, and it's just, it's something. Anyway, um, okay, I gotta suck it up. Dry it up, dry it up, Jamie. It's okay. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of let you know what's going on. Um, what I like to do, um, this is kind of like a shout out kind of videos. Really what I really want to do is I'm gonna t to tell you who I'm watching. Um, uh, and I only watch people I'm subscribed to. Um, and, uh, what I like to do, because I wake up very early in the morning, I usually have to be at work by 6 a.m. So, um, I'm up by, by 4. And what I like to do is I like, as I drink my coffee, um, to wake up, I, I take a few minutes to, um, watch a few YouTube videos. Sometimes I read other things, like I'll read an article or, you know, thumb through my, um, uh, email or whatever, you know, just nothing really particular. It's just a, just a good, quiet time. And, um, so, believe it or not, yesterday... Uh, the 11th, which was Veterans Day, I still had to go to work, even though the kids were not in school. Um, I had to do an in-service day. So, I, you know, actually got to watch quite a few people on my subscription list. And usually what I do is I start off at the top, and I just work my way down. And just whoever is the latest video that I just uploaded, I just work my way down. And, uh, well, I'm just sipping my coffee. And I actually watched about four different people yesterday morning. And a lot of you people didn't have really long videos. Um, usually they're just kind of, you know, little short snippets. But I just want to tell you who I had actually had, uh, watched. Okay, so the first one was the, uh, Popol Backyard Farm. And, uh... It's about this couple who live up in uh, upstate New York, and uh, I think they're really kind of close to the New York and Canadian border, I believe. Um, I think. I might be wrong, but um, I know that they're up there, and I mean, they're already getting winter and all that jazz, um, but they're Ruthie and Clay. And I really like them. I like watching them because I aspire to have, like, a backyard farm, just like they do. Um, you know, with some exceptions. <laughs> but they have all kinds. They have all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, things going on. They've got fruit trees. Uh, of course, they got cats and dogs. And uh, they have a rabbit hutch and a guinea pigs. And uh, so, that you know, that's kind of what we want to raise ourselves Um they also have uh, a variety of domestic poultry. Um, they have their own turkey. Uh, they also have chickens. I think they have some pheasants as well. Um, I want to say they also have guinea fowl, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. I'd have to watch a video or three to make sure. But... Um, yeah, I really like watching them, and uh, Ruthie does like to crochet, and um, she also likes to help other channels um, succeed, so she likes to give out advice and stuff, and like uh, yesterday morning she was talking about having a LinkedIn account, so um, that way that, you know, if you're trying to, um, I guess, business-wise to 
promote your your channel so I thought that was really really good advice um, but they have six hundred uh, six thousand a little over six they have a little over six thousand uh, subscribers almost six and a half subscribers they're just really really nice um, you know they just kind of you know vlog about their life and their experiences and things like that they're just a nice couple you know very charismatic in you know uh, Ruthie is I think She's super sweet. I really like her. I watch, I actually watch her quite a bit. And she does like a whole bunch of just little videos. They're just a few minutes. But it's just nice to watch. Because it's something that's not always crochet. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love crochet. Don't get me wrong. Don't freak out. <laughs> I like crochet still, believe me. But sometimes you have to have little various interests, you know. Okay, so somebody um, else I've been subscribed to for a little while, for a few months... And, um, what we do is, um, if, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with, um, Knit, Pearl, and Squirrel with Granny D. Um, what she does is she gets on live, and we all get in there and chat, a bunch of, you know, people, um, get in there and chat, and we all subscribe to each other. And it's like a little subathon, you know, some, as we you know, go and do, and, um, it's just a way of getting subscribers, but it's also a great way of finding other channels, and, and it's also just, you know, really part of this, this yarning community is where we're all willing to share, uh, with what we know, or, you know, um, trying to help each other, and, uh, I think that's really, really nice thing, but, um, I've, Pretty much, almost got at least probably eighty percent of my subscribers just from doing the live chats, and not just Granny D's live chats. I mean, there's been Lori's Crochet Corner. I've done live chats with um, the Fiber Floozy uh, live chats. Uh, Left is Right Crochet. Um, I mean, just just to, just to name a few live chats that I've been to. Um, you know. And it's just really, really fun. Um, it's kind of replaces chat rooms. Remember back, you know, I don't know, about like 10, 15 years ago, you can get it and you can go into chat rooms. You know, I, just, I remember Yahoo had like a whole bunch of chat rooms you can just go into. I mean, I don't think they do that. So this is kind of like the closest thing we have to chat rooms. And then it's just people who... <laughs> <laughs> who are just kind of interacting on their own or to whoever is on the screen. So, you know, I really, it, it's really kind of fun. You start to get to know each other and you, you see a lot of the same people, but then you get to meet new people. And so it's really, it's really kind of cool. It's kind of like that. Um, one of these days I would definitely like to try to Zoom, um, which is like a, like a video chat room. So it's basically, it's a chat room with everybody's, video and cameras and things like that and we all like chat at the same time i've i've heard about it i've never done it um but i definitely would like to do it maybe during thanksgiving break when i am off yes can't wait all right um so anyway so one of these people that probably we subscribe to during the subathon i think that's how this happened um but her channel is uh, The Blind Needle. Her name is Evie. And I kind of have a kinship with her in a way because uh, she's legally blind. Um, and I myself am um, a high-functioning visually impaired. As of right now, um, I'm going to go try to be declared legally blind. I am legally blind in my left eye. I'm almost there in my right eye. Um, and a lot of people think you know, they get legal blindness and total blindness totally confused. Like, I fool people all the time. And, um, I'm, like I said, I'm very high functioning. Um, so, you know, a lot of people just really kind of get, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> get that really confused. <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, um, so, in my case, and I'm not sure how Evie's case is, but my case is that um, I have a genetic birth defect uh, where I have underdeveloped optic nerves. 
and that means that the nerve that carries the message from the back of the eye to the brain has atrophied, which means it's underdeveloped, it's not getting enough blood. Therefore, it does not send 100% of the message to the brain. And then, on top of that, I have just natural, you know, eye aging, you know, macular aging, which, and astigmatism. So, you know, I mean, I really, honestly, I really just don't know any better. So if you notice in my videos, I've got something right, right there. I do, as I can't see it, you know. And then the older I get, the worse it's getting. Um, you know, it's just it's a family genetic thing, you know. Um, I really don't know any better. It runs in my family. Um, I actually did pass it on to my kid. She's blind, too. Um, but we, despite our blindness... We are amazing people. Um, you know, my kids, crazy, artistically talented. You know, um, I've got other members of my family who are just crazy talented in so many different ways. Um, you know, brilliant, smart people. And, you know, despite the fact that we have this uh, disability, it... I really don't, I just don't feel like I'm disabled. I really don't. I mean, yes, I don't drive. And I choose not to drive because I feel like if I do drive, I'm not going to be, I'm not on the road safely. And I can't, I don't think I could live with myself if I actually were to a point where I'd actually hurt somebody if I was driving. And that's part of the reason why I don't drive. Um, I could I could drive, and I did drive for years, um, but it, you know, it's, it's just something that I just had to, I just had to do for myself, and, um, to make sure that it was, it was a hard decision, you know, and, in certain events help make that decision helpful, but it was just a hard thing to do, but anyway, getting back to Blind Needle. <laughs> Roundabout, <laughs> um, but she's she's pretty cool. Um, I see her in the live chats all the time. Um, she's uh, I'm assuming she's you know relatively young lady, um, but uh, she only has 327 subscribers. Not much more than what I have. I, I, th I she's got a few more than me, um, but. Her type of videos are where she does, um, she does, uh, she's done a year in review, she does, uh, tutorials, and so I have actually saved a whole lot of her tutorials on some of my playlists. Now, if you check out my playlist, I've got a boatload of playlists. Like, I've got, like, you know, left handed crochet, I mean, got some knitting. Uh, tutorials on there because I'm interested in knitting I just I haven't learned how to knit yet so uh, eventually one day I hope that I will because <laughs> uh, you know it's just it's something I've always been interested in. I've tried teaching myself it just was not not working out um, okay and then who else I watched it was my one of my all-time favorite uh, channels to watch is Happy Hood Creations. Uh, her name is Lisa. If you do not know who Lisa is, uh, um, I can't, I, mean, I absolutely love her. Um, she actually inspired me to do my channel. Um, you know, watching her, uh, I just really do enjoy watching her. Uh, I really admire her. She's, she's got a wonderful personality. Um, just sweet as could be uh, you know she just basically does she's just kind of your your basic vlogger um, you know crochet vlogger <laughs> but she does like to do uh, crochet alongs right and she likes to do crochet alongs uh, I guess involving old movies so what she'll do is she'll take an old movie poster and she'll show it and she's like well, we'll try to make you know, anything that you want to make but using the colors from this this poster uh, from this old movie 
and then she'll go and she'll talk about facts about these old movies. And just I I absolutely love old movies. Um, you know, uh, in the downtown area close to my house, um, it's like an old you know regular old uh, small town square, but they have a really old theater, and they like to to show some of those old those old video oh, videos, <laughs> movies, and. Like, I've been wanting to go every Friday night for a while now, but I haven't yet. So, but they show, they show a lot of really good, good old movies and classics. And, and I really want to see some on the big screen. And I think that would be really, really, really neat. Um, sorry, my nose is getting stuffed up. Um, anyway, um, but, um, uh, she's... You know, she, she goes on about her life. Um, she's featured her daughter and her, you know, her grandkids quite a few times in some of her videos. Um, and, uh, you know, she just really is a very personable person. I really do enjoy watching her. Um, I do admire her a lot in the fact that she is a foster parent. She and her husband are foster parents. And, you know, to, to be a foster parent it it takes a lot of yourself that you give a lot of yourself and I think she a couple of her kids yeah as a matter of fact I think a couple of her kids now um, she adopted through fostering um, so anyway I really do like watching her she's the first person to sh introduce the virus all to me and I just absolutely love that pattern um, and then the last one I had watched was Yarn It Out with Rosalie. Um, uh, she is just a lively lady. She's got so much charisma. Um, I don't know what I can say. She's, she's always smiling. Uh, she's very bubbly. I think she's just your classic crochet yarn vlogger as well. You know, she does yarn hauls. She kind of tells you about her day. She tells you what's going on. You know, she's just really, just a really bubbly, you know, lively person. And uh, she has only about like 505 subscribers right now, um, which is cool, you know. Um, she was actually talking about a meetup, and that meetup is happening with um, Nani's, now I can't remember it, but Nani's Crochet Corner. Anyway, there is a. Anyway, somebody wants to do a meetup. It's up north. I can't make it. But it's on my birthday weekend. And I'm like, oh man, would that be so cool just to go up there to meet all these YouTube crocheters and, um, you know, meet, meet up with them on my birthday. And I'm like, that would be too cool. But no, it's not going to happen for one. I don't have that luxury of travel. It's too close to the end of school year. Um, and secondly, um, if I had traveled during my birthday, uh, I would catch a lot of flack from my family. They'd be like, why weren't you here? You're here to celebrate your birthday. You know, like, well, not that I don't love you. I really want to meet these other people. They'd be like, oh, they're just more important than we are. These strangers. Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's just how family is. Anyway. Um, I think I'm about to run out of battery on my phone. My screen is nice and dark. Um, but anyway, I just want to share with you guys. Um, so if you like my videos, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If, whenever I come on, upload a video. It'll let you know that I just did. Um, hopefully I will show you some of my FOs and whips. Um, I've just been kind of in a crochet blah lately. I mean, I've been doing some crochet, but I haven't been satisfied with what I've been crocheting. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so I thought I'd just, you know, kind of tell y'all what I've been doing lately, um, uh, concerning that, uh, with the who have been watching. But anyway, check these channels out. They're 
you know, really cool. Um, I really do enjoy them. Um, and hopefully I will get to watch more and let you guys know about it. I've got, I'm subscribed to over like 200 people. So, um, whoever, you know, puts out videos, you know, you know, I try to watch as many as I can within reason. So anyways, y'all have a great night. Okay. Bye. All right. How do I turn this off?